one of the lessons that we did learn, uh, at least in terms of horror and terror, is that in order for it to be most effective, there needs to be a degree of relatability to it. You need to be able to relate to the thing that is happening. So again, when you think of dead space, like the enemies, you know, we had a variety of different enemy looks originally, and we kind of wound up landing on ones that had, you know, very obvious human elements to them. And that was because when you look at our slasher enemy and you see, you know, the face of one, you can see that it once was human, but then you see that its jaw has been ripped off. And you're like, oh, oh, that's just unsettling. Ooh, I, I don't want that to happen to me. Or, oh, you know, the position that those arms are twisted in, that looks painful. The fact that you're able to relate that back to yourself makes it more personal and makes it uh, resonate more with you versus just seeing, you know, some off the wall alien that you've never seen in real life. There's, there's not that connection. So I think trying to dig in and tap into relatable elements, whether it's you know, the world that the player is walking through or the enemies that they're encountering or the clothing that you see, the more relatable that you make things, the more chance it has to really connect with the player.